Well, hello there, beautiful, shining, amazing, incredible unicorns. Oh my god, where's my teeth? Today I'm going to be showing you all of this incredible amazingness clothes that I recently acquired for my wardrobe. I will try to find links for everything and link it down below. If something's out of stock, I'll try to find something similar so you unicorns can get your shopping fix today. Uh, don't mind my sweatpants situation here. Where have you been, Evelina? Oh my god, you're never in your channel anymore. Guess what? I've been here in this office slaving away, trying to get it done. Look at this wall. It's starting to look real sexy. I installed some shelves and painted and did some awesome stuff, so if you'd like to see an office store, give this video a big thumbs up, that way I know that you want to see it. Yes, somebody's had a little too much coffee today, I don't know if you can tell. So to start with, I picked up a couple of goodies at the Zara on 5th Avenue in New York. So the first thing that I got is this freaking jacket, and I saw it at Zara about a month ago, and it was like 100 40 160 dollars I was like no thank you uh, but it was on sale 60% off and I was really excited about that I love the zippers on the side I love how it's so nicely cut and it has all these buckles and it's teeny tiny which is really perfect for my frame so it's just like a really awesome uh, jacket for summer next one is this really awesome crochet uh, lace top from Zara as well and I really love the back of it it's really nice with like a, a beautifully detailed crop top and also it's really cool to wear something like this with like a contrasting top so like a blue shirt and a black bra or a black crop top or even like a different color next is this guy and you've probably seen it a lot on my Instagram already I really like the nice little pleats and how airy and light it is and I love the lining right here like the lines it almost gives it a sporty vibe so it's like sporty chic which you guys know if you follow my blog I'm obsessed with like sporty fashion spoiler alert the next style video is going to be sporty fashion let me know down below if you'd like to see that next from Zara is just this really flowy loose uh, striped top and I think this would be really nice to wear with some baggy boyfriend jeans or just some uh, black uh, leather pants because it's just so like effortless and chic it almost kind of reminds me of like Parisian style it's just really perfect for summer next I just fell in love with with this top and it is just the most beautiful sort of like chiffon white top with black straps and I find it very almost edgy and again because I'm so petite it's hard to find skirts that actually fit me really nice they just kind of go in this awkward right above or right below the knee phase uh, but this one actually fits me really nice and I really love it and I could wear this with like a little sweatshirt or um, even a blouse even something like uh, this would look kind of cute yeah you like it Recently, I've really been into kind of trying to find shops and designers that make their stuff here in Southern California or in the United States and kind of like produce more unique pieces that you can't really find anywhere. So I found this boutique on Melrose. It's called Timeless. And let me tell you, I went a little crazy because I seriously loved pretty much everything. It had just the super sporty and like awesome vibe and the pieces weren't that expensive. I mean, they were kind of expensive, but I was like, okay, if I like it, I'm going to buy it. Uh, the first thing I got is this black nylon shirt and it does look a little bit risque I mean obviously it is kind of a dress actually for me uh, so I would wear this like that with like some jean high-waisted jean shorts or high-waisted black shorts uh, this could be also worn with like a, a, a top underneath like it doesn't need to expose your stomach or anything or you could even wear it with a little black dress and apparently I say fun a lot so somebody made a vine of me saying oh fun 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 so I'm going to try not to say it as much in my hauls <laughs> from the same shop I got this little dress and it's not little it's actually a large um, it does look a little bit large and I got it with the purpose of tailoring it because honestly it did fit me really well and I could envision it that if I would just tailor it a little bit it would be like the most cute little dress I mean honestly it does kind of look like something you would sleep in uh, but this has been really in in fashion you know kind of wearing elements that could be sleepwear but you don't know because you could also layer this with like a shirt or again a leather jacket or even wear like a skirt underneath so you could definitely find ways to style this and lastly from this shop I got this awesome sweatshirt which oh my god I was so in love with I just love the detailing of it and the embroidery it's like this mirrored baroque print but then it has some mesh underneath so you can wear it again with something contrasting or just like a nude bra and it look really really nice now this shirt is a little bit inappropriate so if you're like under nine and you're watching this video maybe don't uh, but I got this jersey. I just had to get it because I loved the holographic print on it. It's just so freaking awesome. I would wear this as a little dress and like have some shorts like hiding right underneath. And I think this is like really freaking cool. <laughs> 99 problems, but mm, ain't one. Guys, when did I become like this? 
when did I start talking like this? Because I don't remember the actual transition, but it somehow happened and I hope that you appreciate it. And as per tradition, of course, I picked out some awesome pieces from Daily Look. I dropped by their showroom downtown LA and went a little crazy. The first thing I got the sweatshirt which says turn down for what? I freaking love it. It's a little bit of an oversized sweatshirt, but I think it'll look really nice with like some baggy boyfriend jeans and some heels. Next, I got these sweatpants, which I am so in love with. They are just the world's most perfect sweatpants. Make your butt look good, make everything look good. And they're just like, you know, the wearable everyday sweatpants they can just wear with a crop top. What is up with me today? I wear everything with a crop top and I really do. I've been just like in a crop top phase galore lately. Next, I got this super awesome sparkly shirt and guess what? You can wear it with a crop top, but actually this is kind of like the only thing that you should wear it with or maybe like a cami underneath, but that's boring. And the detailing is just so beautiful in this. I would probably wear this with some jeans just to make it a little bit more casual or some jean shorts and kind of just tuck it into my belt. This one is definitely a statement. You might want to be with a friend when you wear this or you might not just wear it and go grocery shopping. <laughs> Obviously. Next is going to be a t-shirt galore. This one says California chicks do chicks. Chick, chick, chicks, uh, can't say it. You know, like I'll get into a phase where like I absolutely can't say a word. California chicks do it better. If you agree, leave me a comment down below. Another t-shirt and another t-shirt and t-shirt number four or three. I don't remember. I also got another lace top and this one is just so cool. It's one of those pieces that you really have to try on to see the beauty of it. Um, it kind of zips in the back, but it also has this like open slot in the back that like you can show, it shows your back a little, which I think is really cute and sexy. And then at the front, it kind of just pushes everything up. So you look, again, I really like how this fits because it looks bulky and big at first, but when you try it on, you're like, girl, yep. Usually with maxi dresses, I'm just like, uh, no freaking way. I'm like this small and then this dress is just gonna swallow me up. But when I tried this on, I was like, yes, I need this in my life right now. It fits amazingly. It is just like the coolest dress. I can wear this with sneakers. I can wear this with heels. I can wear this with anything and just look awesome. I love how I just complimented myself all over the place. And lastly, from Daily Look, I got me some boyfriend jeans. And again, any piece that I pretty much picture styling in my head for the summer comes with a baggy distressed boyfriend jeans so I really needed the staple piece of my wardrobe I'm super excited about them and they fit pretty good too next we had to pick up some fun things at a local boutique in LA for a really fun unicorn shoot which I'm going to be telling you later about uh, and this one is just this cute little fuzzy shirt which is so fuzzy and cute if only it wasn't so hot outside I would wear this every day everywhere but for a night out in Southern California is good because it always gets cold at night but it's just so fluffy, I wanna die. And this, I need it in my life, need it. And you will know what I mean. Enough said. You know sometimes when you feel that your life is complete and everything is just into place? Well, it wasn't till I found this. You've probably seen me wear this on Instagram one or two or three or four or five times, but it's just that awesome. This Cynthia Rowley skirt. Look at the prints and then it just fits like this on your body. And I love the black detailing and the scalloped edge. This is the skirt of my life. And lastly for clothes, I went to Aritzia, which is a European store. You can find it in New York, in Soho and Fifth Avenue. And this is just like a little cute sweatshirt that says Bloom. It's like a cropped sweatshirt. And everything that I buy has some kind of sporty graphic on it lately. I'm just like really into a sporty kick. Got some hats. This one is just super cool. Probably should have worn it in this video. It's like a galaxy and has a gold uh, triangle here. I think it's like the coolest freaking cat. It's not a cat, it's a hat. I got it some like weird uh, strange boutique on Melrose as well. And another hat. This one is actually a gift from my friend. I was like, I need this in my life and yep. Yeah. It's just a hat. I usually wear my hats like this and then I wear some kind of heels with it because why not? And lastly, I got this Daniel Wellington watch and an extra strap for it and I just absolutely love how you can exchange the straps. It just kind of like slides right out and you can change them and then these are so chic. They really do go with everything, um, especially with kind of how I've been really into sporty vibes. So certain watches can just be a bit much, but these ones are just so versatile. So they'll go with both like a preppy and just like a disheveled like jersey thing. 
So yes, uh, this has been my fashion haul. I hope that you had so much fun and that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like. It does help me out a lot. Let's just be nice to each other, okay? Leave your comments down below what you would like to see on this channel more of. Do you like my styling videos? Do you like my fashion cafes? Do you like my rambling videos? Would you like to see a Q&A? Whatever you'd like to see, all right here. I read it. I really do read it. Bye!